Hello Radar Infus users, I would like to show you a new feature in version 2.1 and it involves this search engine. So now we can turn Materia Medica sources into rubrics. Um, this is a very powerful feature because the repertory is always an ongoing process and this will make your searching for results more complete. So for example, I want to look up a specific symptom. So I start typing the keyword and then press tab when it's um, correct. Uh, paint me in a typing and tab and that just skips down to the next box. So those are the three keywords we're going to be searching for. Up here, this is where you can refine the um, parameters more. So I click there and I say to look within five words. These three keywords within five words of each other, that's what it means. So here where you see A to Z, that is going to, I'm going to tell the search engine where I want it to be looking. So you can choose all references or you can go references of this type and let's start by looking in Materia Medica. So you'll see the results over here on the left hand side. Now obviously the um, this technique will work better if you have a bigger library of reference material and this is just to demonstrate um, how useful that can be for you in your practice. So over here we see the, um, the remedies, the symptoms as they're described, mostly in herring um, and what we can do is to, you might be familiar with this already, you can click the bar graph and you will extract a little um, bar graph of those results. What we can do now if I click back to the search tab is I can use the hotkey which is control return on Windows. Now you might have seen the numbers were going up there so those were being automatically added to um, the clipboard all of those references and then I can just type to create the name for this new rubric rename and there it is. So if I then reference that with the rubric in synthesis, so here's the rubric, I just clicked onto the synthesis tab from the analysis tab. I can just drag that into the clipboard from there. And now when I look at the analysis, I can see that there's some crossover, but there's also some remedies that aren't listed in the repertory yet. So I could then go, let's say, I want to add one of these. Um, let me go back to the search and let's look in herring. So which one was that? Or Infotolcus camphor. So we could add that now into the repertory. So I can go to the rubric here, use the hotkey for adding a remedy. So control F8 and then type the abbreviation with the full stop, double click on the remedy um, and there it's come up with George Vizolkas already as the reference so I can press OK and that will now be added with an asterisk there. Okay so that's one way you can use this new feature and I will shortly be showing you another video um, to demonstrate a slightly different approach to working with this feature. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.